Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, the week appears to be closing out for a strong Australian dollar as it rebounds off the level of 71.40 as minor support and came into a rally that reached its top side target of 72.60.65 and also the 60-day moving average. In light of the pattern, there is still some room to actually contest higher and therefore could see a rise up towards 73.25 and then maybe from there we could see a retreat back towards that bottom side around 71.5. The euro also managed to rebound off the support level seen at 106.25 overnight and now looks back towards that top side level of 107.85. In view of that, the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, fell back towards the region of 101.5 to 60. As the eyes now turn to the non-farm payrolls, it is expected that we might see a weaker number and therefore could see another round of weak US dollar, which in terms could see some strength coming out from the Australian dollar and also the euro. Dolly M, a little bit mixed overnight, but still holding around the 130 area. I feel the market may actually retreat from here <clears throat> as the dollar is a little bit weaker. And if so, sees us pull back to 129.55 to 128.85 and reassess. The pound also benefited from the weaker US dollar and recaptures the RSI at midway point at 50. Keeping an eye on this pattern here, I'd like to see how the market slowly unfolds because I still feel that the, the balls are still lurking as the Bank of England could raise rates by 50 base points on, at its meeting on June the 16th due to the fact that the uh, UK CPI number came in at 9%, its highest level since 1982. So therefore, those, I do expect to see bargain hunters return. And if so, have we found a base which is around that 124.15 area? And therefore look towards our top side, as I mentioned, at 125.65 to 126.05.15. Sterling Kiwi still weak and reaches its target at 191. I did anticipate the market would continue its downward trek since the break of the trend, the bearish outside range day, and now reaches its objective. I like to be a little bit cautious here because previously, as you can see, right back through April, the market did find support at 191 and we may see another bounce or profit taking. If not, then the next level I view is around the region of 190 and a half. Gold also found momentum after rebounding off around that 1830 region and now looking back to the top side of the range, which is seen around 1,878 to 82. In light of the pattern here, there is a little bit of divergence coming through here. So if we do reach that peak and the RSI remains the same, then therefore we could see a rejection from that top side around 78.82 and see a pullback down towards the region of 1,840. Oil reversed very sharply overnight and you can see from the midway point it didn't break or confirm the bearish call to the downside of 106. Therefore we've seen a rebound off the 109.70 area and now breaking back towards that top side which is around 116. In light of the pattern I'd like to see if this market can continue on and see that rejection point but I feel that the outside range day or the key reversal is still just holding and therefore could see another down test back towards that support region of 113 and then lower down towards the area coming in around 109.70 which is where the base was formed overnight. That wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me and as always look out for the inch day report and also the end of the day wrap.